Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Ghost of Tsushima Legends class build tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys what I call the Blowgun Vanisher build. Now the base class of this build is the Assassin class, which is the only class that can trigger cloaking and do massive one-shot damage through assassinations. But our Blowgun Vanisher build can do much more than that. Not only are you going to get your usual high damaging kills on available targets, you will also have a gear setup where you'll make yourself and your team better at assassinations, where you're going to be protecting your teammates, making them better killers, and at the same time as you kill, you have high regen for all of your gears and ghost weapons. And also, you will use the blowgun and its multitude choice of darts to once again make yourself stronger and your teammate at the same time. I guarantee with this build, you will feel great doing one-shot kills and knowing you are constantly protecting and enhancing your teammates. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to subscribe for more Ghost of Tsushima tutorials all year long. Also, you can click on the card above or the link in the description below to see my all Ghost of Tsushima tutorials playlist so you can catch up on previous builds and also see future even stronger ones. So the key skill of our build is to make sure you have group vanish over the uh, toxic vanish because you are looking to protect your teammates and also a faster base cooldown. Now group vanish is for assassination and revives. You need to understand this concept because it's essential to winning. You can see me here cloak and then use it to revive and then assassinate. Re-cloak again but my teammate goes down so then I go again to revive. That's what group vanish is for. It's Killing and protection. Now, also, obviously, you want to add in chain vanish at rank 11, which is why I was able to vanish again after I have a successful uh, assassination. So, vanish into a revive into a chain vanish is OP. So, essentially, when you first vanish, make sure the first target you assassinate is someone you can kill right off the bat, and then you can do another assassination while vanishing again. Using vanish with this concept in mind can often change the tide of the battle for you. Now, the next thing you're going to need is the blowgun as your ranged weapon. You don't necessarily need a legendary one, but what you do need is one that comes with hallucination starts and make sure you get the status effect duration and also stealth bonus damage if you can. With that in hand, now you have three selections of darts. You have the poison dart, the hallucination dart, and also the uh, weakening dart. And using these three darts with the right scenarios, will optimize your assassin play. So poison is the one that eats away the stagger bar. So you want to do that kind of like what I'm doing far away. Make sure you poison your target so it becomes staggered. So th this will also give you 50% plus assassination damage. And you can see here against uh, tethered enemies, I'm going to use the poison dart on both. Set up my teammate for success so we can just finish both off as quickly as possible. Uh, also, you can use the weakening darts to optimize the situation as you saw earlier. So before I assassinate my target, once again, I weaken the uh, counter opposite. Go assassinate myself and also let my teammate assassinate with you know, damage buffs. And hallucination darts are probably the best of all because it's good for offense, defense, and it buys time. So here you can see I see the bear and I'm going to shoot the hallucination dart at him. So he's just going to go off ignoring me and then causing huge havoc against the rest of the enemies. And then I can go revive my fallen teammate. Obviously I'm going to cloak first, revive him, and then I'm going to go back into my assassinations, right back in the fight with the bear alongside us. So the next important thing is the smoke bomb and you're gonna make sure you get one that comes with cooldown reduction, cooldown reduction on kill and sudden resolve. If you do that, you can see me here, do the smoke bomb and then go into my assassination or super assassinate if I need to and I can keep doing it because the smoke bomb keeps me cloak and stealth for an extra long time which also help my teammates. And because of the sudden resolve perk, my smoke bombs also have great synergy with my ultimates. So you can see me here do the ultimate against a large crowd and obviously it takes a free resolve so I'm completely out. So I go back into my smoke bomb which allows me to assassinate and gain one resolve back. Now I could have super assassinate here but I don't want to waste the resolve that I just gained back so I do a critical strike and finish off the enemy on my own. But that's great synergy. So you can see on the next ghost weapon you need Make sure you get the dirt throw that comes with uh, Rancid so you can apply weaken on hit and a cooldown reduction. And also, once again, make sure you can get a cooldown reduction on kill if possible. You can do a modification and you just reroll until you get it. 
And you can see me here do the death roll, weaken my enemies, which makes me an effective melee character. And at the same time, because they're weakened, I can also assassinate them off the bat instead of just doing critical strikes. So that's huge. And third throw has a very fast cooldown too. So that's big. So when everything is put together, you really become a one-shot killing elite support character. That's what you gotta understand. Like the assassin class, especially this blowgun vanisher, you gotta play with good pacing. You can't just rush in there and you need to constantly maximize and optimize the situation you're in with your skill set, weapons, and the timing of it. Because if you do it wrong, the assassin class won't be doing as much damage as possible and because it can do so much damage, it's a big, big, big difference. So the rest of the gear you need, make sure you get a katana that comes with both the uh, water stance and the wind stance which is going to allow you to stagger and the wind stance is going to protect you very well versus spearmen, you literally can't get hit. For the charm, you want to get one that comes with the combat regeneration perk and also ability cooldown reduction. Ultimate damage is good too, but ideally you want to get a stealth charm so you can get cooldown reduction and ability cooldown reduction plus the combat generation. You do this, your ability comes back fast and also your ghost weapons. Uh, the rest of the perks you need, make sure you get super strike because you see that sometimes I do super assassination to make sure I do get the kill and it only costs one resolve so that's nothing for an assassin. And uh, rank 16 opportunist is huge because it allows you to deal 50% bonus assassination damage to staggered enemies so that's gonna be big. So, and because of our uh, insistence to chase or you know, cooldown reduction on kills which means every kill you do speeds up the ghost weapons regen and since your entire approach to this build is to assassinate and to get kills as quickly as possible. That's great synergy with your ghost weapons. And that is why you want to get dirt throw because dirt throw's cooldown is only 40 seconds but because you're an assassin so if you get cooldown reduction on kill with dirt throw you're probably gonna get it back what every 20 seconds because you're doing so much killing. So but always remember with you using the assassin especially the broken assassin vanisher stay focused and remember to always optimize your assassinations like here i made a mistake i should have staggered my enemy first so i gained that 50 percent bonus assassination damage but i did not do that i did not use the water stance to stagger him enough so then when i do do the cloaking into the assassination now it's only a super crit and it's not a super assassination which will stop me from being able to cloak again which is huge so that's a mistake it looks good here because i was still able to take down a very powerful enemy quickly but that was not the best i could have done and with the assassin you always got to do your best to get the most out of everything and be always understanding and committed that hallucination dart at the right time can change everything so i did the hallucination dart to the stronger spear enemy here and even though we're about to lose the point with my teammate this is our gold survival and you can see that my hallucination not only took that guy away from the fight against me and my teammate, it, he's also also bothering other people. So that is absolutely huge. It buys me the time and the opportunity I need to just vanish, assassinate, vanish, helping my teammate and eventually helping us clear this entire point even though uh, we were outnumbered and kind of under health all at the same time. Alright, so if you enjoyed today's tutorial, uh, add me a like. and. Uh, Make sure to add me also on PSN so we can play together. And as always, thanks for coming by and I'll speak to you guys again very soon.